Somewhere in this central Madrid convent, it's believed, lie the remains of one of history's literary greats. Miguel de Cervantes died not far from this chapel, broke and relatively unknown. Now, almost 400 years later, Spanish historians want to find his bones to honour him. It's a convent church. A few people were buried here. It's a limited area. So the first phase is going to be carried out by a radar expert who will make a plan of the soil to locate the burial place. Cervantes moved to Madrid in 1606, by which time he had already published what would become his life's best known work. Don Quixote is still considered one of the greatest pieces of fiction ever written. Published over two volumes, Don Quixote explores not only popular wisdom but universal values and it's a piece which cemented Cervantes' place in history as the father of the modern novel. Following the adventures of a mad retired country gentleman, the novel broke all the rules of the time but created a new genre in the process. It was entirely groundbreaking. Uh, up to that point, there were books of history and there were books of fiction. But Don Quixote talks to us if he was a real individual and he actually addresses the man who is writing his story. And obviously this you know, confused people very much and totally enthralled them at the same time. As a young man, Miguel de Cervantes served as a soldier in the war against the Ottoman Empire. He was taken hostage by Turkish pirates and spent five years in slavery before Trinitarian friars brokered his release with a ransom. He was certainly an intrepid and brave person, but it must have been very difficult for him to escape. So his freedom only came after the intervention of the Trinitarian order. That's why it's thought Cervantes asked to be buried in a Trinitarian church. Archaeologists hope to finish their search and confirm the final fate of the revered author by the end of the year. Kim Vanell, Al Jazeera.